Hey, welcome back everyone. So we finally made it. So this is going to be the last lesson of this module four. And this is going to be the last lesson for this entire examination series as well. And I hope the information provided throughout the course was useful. My name is Sushant Satish and I am your instructor for this Microsoft 365 Fundamentals exam series. So let's look at the lesson two, which is support in Microsoft 365. After this lesson, you should be able to list what support options are available within Microsoft 365. You would be able to discuss guarantees, SLAs, and capping of liability of cloud service provider, demonstrate how to create a service request and how to review any active service request in your subscription, demonstrate how to monitor your Microsoft 365 service health as well. So what are the support options in Microsoft 365? As a Microsoft 365 subscriber, you have a variety of support options, but the details depend on your specific situation. Which subscription do you have? Does it include a service package? Which service tool do you need support for? What kind of support do you need? Here are the different ways and channels to get support from Microsoft 365. First is fast track. So Fast Track can get direct access to Microsoft 365 planning material and dedicated Microsoft Fast Track project managers and engineers to help you deploy Microsoft 365. Office 365 Assistant, the Microsoft 365 Admin Center has an automated assistant bot. The Office 365 Assistant that designed to help you find answers to support questions. Access from the Need Help button, the bot offers a chat-based user interface. Then there is premium support. Microsoft premium support services is well suited for large and global organizations with strategic and critical dependence on Microsoft product, including Microsoft 365 and Azure. Then there is cloud services provider tier one support. If you have purchased Microsoft subscription through a certified tier one CSP, contact them directly for technical support. The tier one CSP is your first point of contact for all services related to issues. Tier one providers will escalate any issues they can't resolve directly to Microsoft to ensure that you get the help you needed. Then there is telephone support. Some Microsoft 365 components provide phone support as well. And then there is Microsoft 365 tech community and support forums. Microsoft offers official support forums where you can ask questions and get answers from both Microsoft and community members. Different technologies and services in Microsoft 365 have their own forums. Some of the mo most popular ones are Azure forums, Windows forums, Office forums, etc. Let's understand the Microsoft 365 service level agreements. Make sure you thoroughly review any service level agreement before you sign it. Ask yourself the following question. How does the CSP determine whether service levels are being achieved? Who's responsible for measurement? How can I obtain report? What expectations are there in the SLA? What exceptions are there in the SLA? So the service level agreement also applies to technical support response times as well. As example, for Office 365 business plans, which is available 24-7, the response time is one hour for critical responses. For high severity, the, it's business hours with no commitment. For enterprise with critical, the response time is one hour. And for enterprise plans with severity high, the response time is next day. So how do you raise a service request in Microsoft 365? So you can find help and figure out when to open a service request in Microsoft 365 Admin Center. You can create requests through telephone support, online chat support, and email. Each customer case is identified by unique code and help you track it through the support process. You can create these requests from the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. As shown in the following image, toggle off the Office 365 Administrative Bot in the support pane and then type in the description of your issue and search for solutions. If you don't find a solution for your problem, 
create a new service request by phone or by email. You can view the status of your existing service request either by check view service request under the support blade or if you already have a pane open, select the circular arrow icon in the need help tab to see the list of your new service requests. How do you monitor the Microsoft 365 service health? Microsoft constantly monitor the health of the services in Microsoft 365. This helps us ensure we are meeting the SLAs are promised to you. You can also monitor the health of your services in the Microsoft 365 admin portal. You can view whether a service is up or down, available, and the performance of the service as well. You can filter the list of subscriptions and services to view only what's most relevant to you. From the services with degraded performance to advisories to all services. Select any entry to give more details. You can see the following, a description of the problem, uh, when the incident was first logged, last update to the incident, current status, user impact, etc. That concludes the lesson two, which is support in Microsoft 365. So let's head back to the next video and let's meet there. Thank you.